Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Big Ball Vlogs. I do reviews, comparison, shopping, and everyday vlogging. If you're interested in something like that, maybe a tech review, maybe a deal that I found on Amazon, please consider subscribing to the channel and maybe clicking the notification button for new updates when I post them. So today we're at the field. It's a beautiful day and I'm out here to actually test out something new for the Parrot Anafee drone. I just want to start off by saying that it is absolutely amazing to see that Parrot is still supporting the Anafi drone, even though it is a little dated by drone standards. I mean, if we talk about the DJI Mavic Pro, which was released in 2017, I think by the end of 2018, we had seen the last of any firmware updates or features that were going to be added to that drone. To my surprise, I just happened to want to come out and shoot some drone video, maybe to do some kind of like cutscenes or something like that, just to get some more time with the drone. And when I went in to do a firmware update or check to see if there were any more firmware updates, I was surprised to see that there were actually new features added to this drone. So, of course, let's get out today and try each feature. I haven't spent a lot of time on them. Um, I just wanted to kind of come out and do this video and then use the features over time and then get maybe a you know, follow-up review on it. But um, from what I've seen, there are some actually pretty cool features that have been added. Um, it's been a while since I've had out. Let's see where they at. It's been a while since I've had these out. And this is one of the new features of the drone where you can use a pair of VR goggles, or in this case, uh, and if he calls them first person view goggles, um, to get inside the cockpit like you would with, a pair, with your DJI goggles for your uh, DJI drones. But and lo probably a light, lot less expensive than a pair of DJI goggles and your latest greatest DJI drone or an even an older Mavic Pro and a pair of DJI goggles. So what I want to do is I want to get into this video really quickly. I don't want to do a whole bunch of talk and get off track. I want to get into it, test out these features, try the features, do a little short fly around and see what they actually can do and show you about them. I may be a little bit late on this. I'm not sure if other guys are talking about this. Um, let's see. I don't even know when it came out, but for me, this is, you know, breaking news. So let's get into the video and see what these actually can do and get the test fly, see how they work. So first off, when I got to the uh, initial startup screen, like again, I wanted to Free Flight 6, powered up the drone, and what I see is Free Flight 6 has some updates on the left side of my, I got my screen recording right now, so hopefully it's in here somewhere. Um, Free Flight 6 has some updates, and to the right of that, I saw that it had FPV mode, and I'm like, wow, okay, pretty cool, FPV mode. Now, when you go into FPV mode, what you're gonna need is a pair of, uh, what they call VR goggles. This is an inexpensive set that I bought from Walmart a long time ago to do VR modes for some of the different softwares that could run the uh, DJI drones. Um, they should work with this one, but from what I'm seeing, just looking through some of the features and settings, you actually need the Anafi version goggles to be able to control the application, to be able to control the ap application while they are inside the goggles. When they're inside the goggles, you can't tap on the screen, you can't do anything, you can't change any of your settings. But it looks like with the Anafi version goggles, you are able to press button that are uh, that are on it that may somehow tie into the to, the to the settings and change or switch through different settings to change up you know maybe your your scene shot or your cinematic shot or whatever you may want to change up in the settings but since I don't have that what we're going to do is we're going to go out of VR mode right now we might actually give that a test just to see what it looks like see what it looks like through the VR goggles to see if it gives you that immersive feel like it does with a pair of DJ goggles DJ eye goggles what I can tell you is DJ eye goggles are absolutely amazing but for the cost I find myself not actually using them so I got out of using them but I've got the drone powered up and we're in the main screen here and another thing that I wanted to check when I did my firmware updates was was there were there any more settings that you know are any more features in this in this software so when I clicked on film or actually when I clicked on presets what I did find out was they were actually let's see one two three four new settings or actually two new settings four total settings and presets and a, an additional control setting so very interesting I wanted to see what those do I'm not going to tell you that I didn't I, did, I tried this on my own I actually just googled what, what these settings are and I found out that you had the original film mode and sport mode which were like just uh, slower I call it tripod mode for DJI drones and then a sport mode like for DJI drones and then they gave you what they call cinematic modes which is cinematic and then racing which are going to give you that more point of view version of uh, I think in DJI drones it's called airplane mode so that when you do bank turns it's going to the camera's going to bank with you and give you more like a bird's effect when you're flying it or an airplane mode when you're flying it um, I believe cinematic is um, I guess the same as film mode and standard preset and then racing is still POV but with a lot faster speed so more like sport with the POV added into it. Now you also have the two different control modes or you got two, diff two different control modes you have classic mode and you have arcade mode so not really knowing how to fly arcade mode we're going to try it for the first time but from what I've gotten offline whatever direction you point the camera 
the drone is going to fly in that direction. So that may be pretty cool for guys that, you know, don't really know how to fly. They want to point the camera up, it flies up. They want to point the camera down, it flies down. Um, which could take out some of the, I don't want to say complications, but some of the multitasking needed to kind of, kind of do some of the, uh, I guess, different types of flight. I don't know how to say it, but different types of flight or cinematic shots that you want to get. You kind of got to like pull back on the stick and then pan your camera down. If this actually works the way I think it's going to work, if you want to do like a pan or, or reveal, all you would have to do is pretty much point the camera up and then fly forward and it would do that reveal for you or vice versa and it would do the same movement. So we'll try that out in a second. But for now, let's get into it and let's see how this thing works. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm trying not to take me much time, but I wanted to give you an overview of how this, what I'm doing here. Um, but with the drone already powered up, we can get this thing up in the air and really see what it looks like when it's in the air and using some of these features. So again, sorry, well not again, but sorry about the breeze. I am out, hopefully my, uh, my wind muff here is cutting it off and I'm also using probably the noise reduction, the wind reduction, so the sound may not be the greatest. I don't have a camera with an external mic and I'm using the, the phone for um, using the drone so I can't use a lavalier, but we're gonna get this up in the air. One of the things that I love about the Anafi drone is the fact that you can do a hand launch. <laughs> Get my hands out of the way there. Have my hand in the way of the motors. So we're gonna do that again. Three, two, one, just toss it up in the air, and there it goes. All right. So right now I got it in film mode. And with film mode, um, what you can see, and I do not have uh, an ND filter on, sorry, I forgot them at the house. I've got mine dialed way down. So in my film mode, I got it to fly very slow. I mean, right now I am doing a full pirouette and it is barely rotating around. And I do that because I want to be able to do slow, smooth, I guess, orbit um, flights around certain things if I'm out filming. In fact, I'm going to bring that in right now. And I'm going to bring it back to me. And just to give you an idea of how I like to fly my film mode, it is very slow. I got sticks almost full forward. And I'm going to fly a pirouette around myself, or actually an orbit around myself. As you can see, it's a very slow mode, and I'm going to go up a little bit here and pan the camera down. And I'm all doing this, you know, manually. I'm not using any kind of preset. I'm just flying it by, you know, using three fingers, two on the thumb, uh, two on the thumbsticks, and one on the camera control, camera tilt, uh, tilt <laughs> control, and I'm going to bring that back in. And you guys know what manual, I mean, you guys know what sport mode is. So if I went into sport mode, and right now I'm hoping my screen record is still working because I'm actually recording with the drone too. So you guys know what sport mode is. Now mine is a still a little bit slower, but it does have a faster rotation rate. So as you can see, it's rotating a little bit faster, but I didn't want it to be, you know, sometimes you actually, when you have this in full speed, you can actually turn this up a little bit higher. When this is in full speed, this thing is actually like a racing drone. Turns don't be, aren't turns, they're actually like drifts, where the drone kind of like drifts around in circles. Um, I didn't want that. I still wanted to be able to kind of fly this thing with a little bit more speed um, and do like, you know, like uh, some smooth cinematics with it. So right now I'm going to be doing you know, just a smooth fly around. But you can actually see it's moving a little bit faster. And when I stop it, my pirouettes are a little bit faster, but not crazy fast. Okay, so that is the basic two features that you had when you got the Anafi drone. The next one, if we go back in, we're gonna go back into cinematic this time. And because uh, I don't know how this is working, I'm gonna take this up a little bit higher and we're gonna see how this works. So cinematic, I have not done any adjustments on it. This is the stock configuration for cinematic. I haven't dialed it down or dialed it up. Let's see what this thing actually does when you fly some circles with it now. It's a little bit faster, it's definitely faster. And as you can see, as I turn, it looks like the screen, or not the screen, the camera tilts with the rotation of the drone. So you have that slight POV mode. It's actually banking as they do a turn. So if I do that again, you can see that there's a slight bank. Even if I just do a standstill rotation, the camera actually banks a little bit. And like I said, I haven't really adjusted these settings, so I'm just gonna fly around again. And this is the slow version. This is the um, cinematic version. So you're getting that slow cinematic feel, those slow, slightly banked turns. All right, and let's go into the last one, which is racing. And the cool thing about this is it's totally recording. I don't have to stop and start. It has gone from setting to setting without actually stopping the recording. It's gonna make it easier for me to cut this up. So racing, definitely got a lot more speed here. 
Yeah, and it's and it's and it's banking a little bit harder. So because it's a little bit not, you know, it's, it's not as slow as I had. I gotta kind of feel this out for a second. But I'm gonna. Yeah, there you go. That is super fast. Yeah, I like that. And let's see what it looks like if I kind of like just try to race it a little bit down close to the ground. Yeah, that looks that looks nice. I really do like that. Especially, you know, I'm almost, I mean, I think I'm out two feet off the ground right now. So if you want to get those low, slow flying, I mean, low fast shots, I'm going to try not to crash this to the bench and go around myself here. Yeah, man. That thing looks amazing. Let's take it up in the air. Let's see what it looks like over top of the trees. Well, not over top of the trees because I got to look straight up to see it. So I'm going to try to take it this way and get it some height and see what it looks like uh, in this mode. Little bit of, uh, I guess, a little bit of lag in my screen. Hopefully it comes out in the video looking a little bit smoother than it does right now. But I like it. All right, so those are three modes. Let's take it back to normal film mode. And now what I wanna do is I wanna try out these controls. Like I've never shot in this arcade, so I gotta figure this out. But let me bring it in close to me so I can figure this out. We're gonna put it in arcade mode right now. It is giving me, um, welcome to arcade mode. This mode is a different style of piloting. Yes, it is a different style of piloting. Be sure you have a wide space, which I have a big space here to play around in. And let's see if it gives me any controls. Okay, so it does. So if I wanna go up, I point the camera up. No, actually the camera is now being tilted by the up and down. Wow, wow, this is different. So now the camera is being directed by the uh, normal left side of the stick which allows you to go up down or pirouette left and right or pirouette left and pirouette right you still have forward and back and I have shift left and shift right here so just let me give that a quick demo okay so forward and back still work camera tilt it's now yeah okay so now I'm actually controlling the direction of the camera with the left stick instead of controlling the actual rotation of the drone so if i wanted to tilt the camera up now i'm pushing up hold on that's not working i thought i was actually doing something here i guess i have to click okay to to accept so let's try that again okay so now i am in the joystick control so let's see pushing the cam pushing the left stick up tilts the camera up pulling the left stick down pulls the camera down where it used to be controlled by this rocker on the back now, if I want to tilt the, turn the camera left or right, and it's actually giving me a tutorial here, tutorial, tutorial I'm actually controlling the camera. It's, it's actually, you know, it's controlling the drone, but what it is is giving the effect that it's controlling the camera. So if I wanted to turn the camera, like say if it was on a tripod to the left or right, I'm still using the left stick to do it, which is kind of what it would do if I were just flying it in normal mode. Now, here's the difference. To get the drone to go up, I am now using the camera tilt rocker on the back. So I'm gonna point the camera up using the thumbstick and I'm going to push up with the okay if I'm am I doing it right here oh I guess I got to go through the full tutorial okay so let's see full tutorial left right still work up down okay now I'm through now it's working me through the tutorial sorry probably had to cut all that out so now that we've gone through the full tutorial on screen um, let's see how this actually works so again left stick is now controlling the camera so if i want to point the camera down i use the left stick if i want to point the camera up i use the left stick instead of using the back rocker now i'm giving the effect of actually tilting the camera left and right with the control stick but actually what it's doing is causing the drone to pirouette left and right okay now right stick i forget what left and right do so left and right actually control the drone left and right forward and back are still controlled with the right stick. So you still have your pan or your, your roll and pitch axis on the right stick. It's just a difference of how you control the drone up and down and the camera with the left stick. So what I wanna do is I wanna try to fly this and this is different. Um, it says in order, to, if I push forward, it goes this way. Now if I push up on the left stick, on the control rocker for the, for the, um, for the camera, okay, it, it works. It pushes the drone up by using the control this is confusing me because I'm so used to flying it the other way. And if I push down on the camera um, 
tilt rocker, it brings the drone down. So I want to bring this around because what I'm doing is now bringing the drone camera around. So let's see if I can actually fly something with this. This is this is kind of different. Different. So right now I'm going to try to fly up and do some camera movements with it. So let's go up slowly using the drones. Yeah, okay. Actually, it's coming down. So, woo. Okay, I got a little bit too low there because I'm still not used to it. Hopefully, it's coming across on this one. I got close to the ground. I'm about a foot and a half off the ground. Let's take her back up. Okay, so that works. Now, let's pull the camera down while I'm going up. Okay, you got to break these movements down. Let's bring her back down. And let's take the camera up while I'm moving it. And let's rotate it to the left while I'm coming down. Okay, I got it. I got it. Not as easy to fly as I thought it would be. It's not as easy as, say, like a, a, a lock mode or orientation lock or even like a tap to fly, which this drone has. I'm not sure how you would use these in arcade mode. Um, I'm a fan of using the original style. I still control the camera with the left and right on the roll axis, uh, actually on the, what they call, pirouette axis. I can still control the left and right camera. I'm a fan of controlling the, the, the camera's tilt with this back rocker because there's only two directions I can change it, turn it, instead of four here. And um, to be honest with you, it's just something that you're gonna have to relearn and potentially crash this drone trying to relearn it and trying to figure it out. Because while I am, or while I was trying to push down on the drone with the control stick, I was actually pushing down on the camera, which was bringing the drone very close to the ground. Not a fan, but you know, over time it probably will come in useful for trying to shoot some pretty slick cinematics. So, is there any other feature on this? Let's really quickly go into camera mode here, and let's see if there are any other photo features that I have. It's gonna take a second for the flip over. So I still have single uh, time, burst, bracketing, panorama, and time lapse. So no more camera features, um, just the additional control features. But I'll take it because like I said, um, with DJI drones and a lot of drone manufacturers, after a year these drones are considered kind of dated and they really don't support updates or adding new features. The Parrot Anafi has been out for a couple years now, if I'm not mistaken, and they're actually pushing out new updates. They're actually even pushing out new models of the pair Anafi drone with the thermal and the business version um, that does the, I guess, 3D mapping. Um, I like it. I cannot, I mean, I, I, I cannot complain about something that's gonna give me new, new features, bring new value to the drone over years. You don't feel like you have to go out and buy a new drone. Again, sorry for reference, but like the DJI drones, if I wanted time-lapse, now I gotta upgrade all the way up to the Mavic Pro 2 series, which I'm really not, you know, gonna pay $1,500 just for time-lapse. Um, if I wanna do 3D, uh, I guess, uh, photos, I gotta upgrade to at least, I think, a uh, Mavic Air series um, to do it. Um, so I am liking now what this pair of Anafi can do. So that is all I wanted to get out and show you. I wanted to show you that there was, a, I guess, some new updates to the pair of Anafi drone, and I wanted to kind of fly them out and see how well they work. I do really do like the new cinematics of being able to fly in that airplane mode. I also flew those in um, airplane mode with the, the, the DJI drones. When I'm not on camera, I used to like to fly the, the, the DJI drone in sport mode just because it flew so I mean, it flew really well in sport mode, and now I see I can do more with the Anafi drone. So, that's all I have. So, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. I'll get back to you soon with more about the Anafi drone if new updates come up, new firmware updates on this, if there are any bugs or glitches that I may have to let you know about right now. Everything, this drone is sitting super still, super smooth. Um, I cannot complain. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. I'll get back to you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.